Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Frank here. <clears throat> I'm at a little spot called Elliott Falls. Up near, where am I near? Just outside of Minden, I believe it's called. Minden or Minton, Ontario. I've been here before, but uh, I found it again. Didn't realize it was the same place I've been to before, but that's okay. Got a nice falls down there, which I'm going to check out in the morning. I will videotape that for you lovely people out there that are watching my channel. Anyways, I just cooked up some sausages in my frying pan. I'm going to have something deep, and then I'm going to get a fire going. I'm going to see if I can get the fire going with just some uh, pine cones and some twigs. I don't have any fire starter. <clears throat> I do have newspaper, but I'm going to try not to use that, so... Anyways, I cooked up some sausage. That's one of my favorite meals when I'm camping, but I don't have any beans. I could have cooked wieners instead, but I like my hot Italian sausages. So I just show them to you. They're all cooked up in the frying pan. I could have waited and did it on the fire, but I didn't bring my grill with me to put over the fire. And I forgot my fishing pole. I've been traveling with my fishing pole all summer this is a perfect spot to go fishing but I didn't bring it this time so anyways in a little while I'm gonna get the fire going I'll show you where that's at it's just over here I've got my van parked right here and there's a river right over here and the falls is just up the road there just up the way it's also the hydro dam, I believe. Anyways, <clears throat> I've got some wood here ready to go. I've got a bunch of pine cones, chopped up a little bit of wood. Now, somebody left this bundle of wood here, but I'm gonna do my best to not use it and leave it for whoever left it here. But if I do use some, I'll leave them a little bit. So people have had fires here obviously before, so I'm assuming I can too. So don't go anywhere. I'm going to have something to eat, have myself a little drink, and then I will get the fire going, so stay tuned to see if I can get a fire going with just some pine cones and some little twigs. If not, trust the old newspaper. Anyways, don't go away. While I'm waiting for the uh, sun to go down a little bit more, a little bit darker. <clears throat> I'll just uh, show you around this uh, boondocking spot. Free camping again. Gotta love it. Um, yeah. There's been quite a few people come and go today. They go down by the falls. Go for a bit of a walk down there and check out the falls. And there's a boat ramp just over here. Haven't seen anybody bringing a boat yet, but there, there's cottages across across the river. And a few of those people have boats, so. Anyways, I'll show you what this place looks like. I already showed you a little bit, but anyways. There's the parking lot right there. That's where you come in over there. Now, last time I was here, me and Brenda were here, and we just, we just parked right there underneath those trees, along those trees, just on the edge of the parking lot. So there's lots of room for several cars. And there's a bit of a roadway here which goes over to another parking area over there, and that's where the boat ramp is, and it looks like there's some people camping out in the tent over there. And just beyond that, there's some homes, I believe. I'm not sure if they're cottages, but I think they're full-time residences. Anyways, I'm pretty much here by myself right now, except a couple of guys just showed up maybe 15 minutes ago in that truck <clears throat> with fishing poles in their hands, so they're going to try their luck with the fishing. I can't believe I forgot my fishing pole this time. Oh well. Next time, maybe I'll be back again. Anyways, I'm going to get a sausage and jam it in the jaws. And it's almost time to get the fire going. So stay tuned. Now I got my thermosaw going because the mosquitoes aren't too bad yet. But they're starting to come out. Anyways, we're seeing a bit around the fire. 
Cross your fingers. Hope I can get that fire going with just some pine cones, a few twigs, and a little bit of luck. Okay, I think it's time to have that sausage. Now, I didn't bring any buns, but I brought some bread, so that'll work just fine. Because I'm a hungry, hungry, hungry camper. When you're hungry, you gotta eat. Do they look good? They're probably still too hot to eat, but that's okay. I think I just have one for now. See how that goes. Probably don't need two slices of bread, but that's what I've got, so that's what I'll use. I like my mustard. I could have it with just mustard, but I'll have a little bit of ketchup also. Shake it up. Too watery. That's better. Go. And a little bit of Heinz ketchup. Good old Heinz ketchup. Not too much. And I'll have some relish. I usually only have this on hot dogs and hamburgers, but why not on sausage? All right. And there we have it. All the fishermen are leaving. I guess they didn't catch nothing. Or they did. And they're leaving because they're happy with what they caught. Anyways. Jeez. There she is. My sausage on bread. Time to jam it in the jar. Hope it's not too hot. Hope it don't burn my mouth. Now a few more people showed up with some kids. They're just showing them the falls over there. I guess it's a quite popular place on the weekend. The last time I was here, it was through the week, so it wasn't so busy. Anyways, cheers. Mm. And where's my drink for the evening? Dry whiskey and ginger ale. I believe I bought 40 Creek this time. Made here in Ontario. Pretty good. One of the cheaper ones, but they all taste pretty much the same to me after you get one or two in here, so cheers. I don't have my microphone, my external microphone hooked up, so I hope y'all can hear me okay. If not, I'll be using it tomorrow for sure. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll get this in the main, and uh, by the time I eat this, it'll be time to get that fire going, so. Don't go nowhere. I'll bring you back in a bit. Okay, it's time to get this fire going. Wish me luck. There it is right there. <clears throat> Not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, but anyways, I got some things to get it going.
Not having a whole lot of luck, but I think I'll get there. Well, everybody's left, so I'm in this area all by myself now. Cool, just the way I like it. I think I have it going. Come have a look, see. So all I have in there so far is some pine cones, some twigs, a couple of leaves that were already on the twigs. If I can keep this going, I'll be in business for the night. I gotta feed it. Hopefully I don't put it out. I hope you can hear me okay because I don't have my external microphone hooked up. So that's why I keep getting close to the camera. Anyways, <clears throat> got to keep this fire going. It's going to be a chilly night tonight. Sun's pretty much gone now. I think we're laughing. As you can see, it's getting quite dark out. But I got the fire going. Didn't have to use no newspaper. I just used pine cones and twigs. A couple of leaves are in there on the twigs. And of course, the old uh, flicker. Gotta have something like this, whether it's matches or whatever. Now one of these days I'm gonna try and get a fire going with a magnifying glass. I remember when I was a kid, we used to get little fires going with a magnifying glass, but you need lots of sun, and it's gotta be during the day, of course. Maybe tomorrow. Anyways, <clears throat> I gotta go put my food away before the animals come out.
Just going to move this camera over a little bit, raise it up. Well, that's a little too high, you guys can't see the fire. Oh, still can't see the fire. Back down it goes. There you go. There's the fire. Brought over my thermosel to keep the mosquitoes away, although I don't think they're going to be too bad tonight, so. Well, I got my fire going, so I'm happy. Now there's a fairly full moon. It's not quite full, but I think the next couple of nights, I think it's supposed to be quite full. Usually around September 1st, there's a really large full moon. Don't know if you can see it, but I'll do the trees over there. Probably can't see it, but uh, maybe I'll expand this a little bit. Uh, I don't remember how to do that. Oh, yeah, like that. But you don't want to see this face, so... You know, let's try that again, but... Probably can't see it, but if it gets bigger in the next few nights, I will definitely will video that. Anyways, I got to put a few things away in my van. Keep this fire going, so... I'm going to say goodnight. At least, I think I got to say goodnight, but maybe not. Maybe I'll be back in a bit. If if I lose this video, which I have a habit of shutting it off by mistake, come on back tomorrow because I'm going down to the falls to video that because it's quite nice down there. So you'll want to see that. Anyways, hopefully we'll see it a bit. Don't go away. Well, I've managed to keep the fire going. It almost went out on me for a few minutes there, but... I kept it going. It's really starting to cool off tonight. I think it's supposed to go down to about 9 degrees. I got my headlight, flashlight thing on. Just so I can see where I'm going because it's going to be a dark night. There's no, <clears throat> no street lights, no hydro lights, nothing around here. So I'm dependent on my, uh, my own lighting which is okay. So I'll just sit here and chill for about an hour and then I'll probably head off to bed, get a good night's sleep. And my lady friend Brenda is supposed to join me tomorrow. So we'll probably spend another night here, maybe a couple. Uh, we'll see. If not, we'll find some place else to go to. We're going to be camping all week, so make sure you come back to my channel to find out where, where else we end up. Because we're not going to stay here all week, that's for sure. And Brenda has to be back to our hometown by Saturday as she has a special birthday party to go to a couple of guys she knows that's turning 70 so they have the big celebration so we've got till Friday and today is only Sunday so we got all week and I don't have to go back I can keep on camping if I want but I may go back take a break Maybe do some more work on that trailer I bought. Or maybe my teardrops that I have. I think I got my van pretty much.
finished the way I want it. I'll have to do another full video on what I've done with it recently. Seems to be working for me pretty good this time. I think I've changed it probably three, maybe four times now. Maybe even five. I've lost track. But Anyways, like I said, I hope you guys can hear me okay. I don't have the uh, external microphone hooked up, so I'm keeping this camera fairly close to me. But uh, I'll show you how dark it is around here right now. There's my little red van right there. And it's still not completely dark out. It's going to get darker yet, unless that big moon keeps things bright. But nobody in the parking lot. I'm all by myself, like I said. Now, there is a, a tent down there. I think you can see it a little late over there. I think there's a couple guys or maybe a guy and a girl. I'm not sure. And there are cottages across the river, so. Am I nervous sleeping here by myself? Not at all. I'll be all locked up in my van. Anybody comes a knocking, it better be the cops, nobody else. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. I'll try to continue this in the morning or I will start a new one in the morning. That's probably what I'll do, it's easier for me. I don't want to make these videos too long, so make sure you come back after you watch this one to see the next one because I will be videoing the falls, the river, etc. And I'll see how far that trail goes. Hopefully it's a nice little walking trail. Anyways, I'm going to sign off for tonight, so thanks again, everybody. And uh, if you like this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing. Or at least keep coming back. I appreciate it. Thanks again. Y'all have a good night. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Frank signing out. A.K.A. Face also. Just in case you didn't know. Thanks again. Have a good night. I'll leave you with the fire for just a few more minutes. I know fires are relaxing. At least they relax me anyways. They're memorizing or mem whatever that word is, mesmerizing. You stare into a fire and you just, your mind just wanders someplace else. Someplace good. Get you away from all your problems in life. That's why I love camping so much. It's so peaceful, relaxing, calming, and also exciting quite often to get to see new places Different falls, different lakes, etc., etc. Anyways, have a good night, everybody. See ya.